It's been a really exciting year for us. Um, things moved very quickly, perhaps more quickly than we expected um, this year and we had lots of activities up and running um, including things like our mentorship scheme, our training workshops but also loads of really exciting knowledge exchange projects that the postgraduate um, researchers worked on with our partners and so I've, you know, I've been really thrilled about how things have gone so far. Um, we've We've learned a lot, we've done a lot of research along the way, we've learned a lot about um, how we're going to try and run things going forward as well um, and now we're looking forward to uh, the year ahead, we've got a new bunch of postgrads coming in to the centre um, and lots of uh, new projects about to start so yeah it's exciting times. Mm. And talking of experience, what, what has been the feedback that you get from partners and PGR students? Yeah, so we've had some really positive experience uh, um, experiences relayed from uh, partners. Um, we recently did a round of um, kind of interviews with our partners, asking them that exact question. You know, how has their experience been so far? What do they want from the centre going forward? And we've been really pleased to hear that partners have found that the centre has been like a way for them to engage with the university in a way that they've never been able to before to to be really feel like they're really involved with university work um how i got involved i basically um i went to the launch event actually last year um saw the stuff that was going on and i emailed alex for more information about things um and also to sort of collaborate on some events and then that's when I started going to things like Imagine and Otherwise where I helped to organise it and um, loads of other small like you know one hour two hour events that were like training things and um, yeah those, that was it really. Okay so, so what, what were some of the projects that you got involved in? Um, so I've been to an abolition workshop I've been to a, one thing that talks about navigating power and stuff in your PhD. Um, I've helped organise Imagining Otherwise, which is like the annual event. I got involved in the Centre Archive, so um, documenting things like um, a blog post that I wrote for the Centre um, and turning that into a video and giving, showcasing it, exhibiting it at the um, Migration Max Festival. Those are a few of the things. Those are the things I can remember. <laughs> mm. so, so what has been your experience so far? And how would you summarise the projects that you were involved in and the centre itself? Uh, my experience has been pretty much, it's been quite good. Um, it's helped me to sort of navigate academic space um, in a department that I'm not really familiar with. So I'm in sociology, but I, was, I originally studied science. Um, biomedical science to be specific. So I don't really know how to think sociologically and I think the centre helps me to do that. So going to events with partners, with people who look like me, um, has really sort of helped me to to frame my understanding of what it means to think sociology, what it means for my project, because I'm looking at racial health inequalities. Um, and also has helped me to connect to the community in Sheffield, because I'm also not from Sheffield, so that also really helps. Um, I heard about the centre um, through Alex, because Alex and I had been doing some work, I think through the Knowledge Exchange Department um, previous, so I was uh, very excited to kind of uh, hear about the, you know, the Centre for Equity and Inclusion right from, its, from the outset, so even just before it was setting up, it just sounded like such a, an exciting opportunity, like a one-off opportunity to be part of something that is very new and to be part of a, actually shaping that as well. So um, I, I jumped at the chance to be involved and because I really respect Alex and Alex's work as well, um, I was super happy to be collaborating with him and, and trusted that the people he was bringing on board and the ways it was going to operate was going to be actually something really interesting. Mm. So, so what has been your highlights as a partner, you know, since you got involved? 
Well, um, I had a last year. I had a project. So I'm an artist and a filmmaker. So um, I had a project uh, last year called Hong Kong Future Diaspora, which was part of a bigger project, ongoing project that I have called Performing Identities, which reimagines um, East and Southeast Asian diasporic identities in the UK um, mainly. Um, so because this is a very, it's a very big and a sort of expansive project. Um, I just, um, I'm of Hong Kong uh, English heritage, so the, the, the beginnings of the project, um, uh, I start off with my own sort of identity um, in, in my own city, so the first iteration of this bigger project looks at Hong Kongness, and um, so I collaborated with a lot of Hong Kongers in Sheffield, and um, we kind of, together we kind of been devising as new mythological characters and their cosmologies as a way of demythologizing certain stereotypes around um, East and Southeast Asian identities and creating our own mythology through kind of like self-narrating our experiences.